What's up guys, my name is Brandon and Apple continues to surprise us and throw curveballs at us and releases iOS 11.1 developer beta 5 today after releasing beta 4 last week, which we thought for sure was going to be the GM build. But you can see here beta 5 came in at just 43.9 megabytes here on my iPhone 8 plus, which of course did come from beta 4. So just looking at the size alone, you can pretty much tell that this is just going to be a bug fix update. There's not gonna be anything visually that's changed but there is something apparently probably an emergency fix that has been patched, but nothing has been noted about it. So we don't really know what it is, but that's probably what this is. Probably just an emergency fix before the final release of iOS 11.1, which we're going to talk about at the end of this video. But anyways, let's go ahead and back out and go back to the home screen. Then let's go into our settings and check out the build number for this release. So you can see there, it's another short one, of course, 15 B 93 So of course this could be the GM build as well, but we really just don't even know anymore with Apple. So could be the GM. It could not be. We really do not know. So yeah, Going back to the home screen again, there's nothing new that has changed here with beta five. We go into our iCloud, go to iCloud settings right here. You're going to notice that we don't have iMessage in iCloud still. So I'm not sure when we're gonna get that, but we don't have that here in beta five. We don't have the Apple Pay. We don't have any kind of new settings panes or anything like that either here in beta five. Again, it's just going to be back in bug fixes, most likely an emergency bug fix. Now I should also mention that iOS 11.1 beta four got me the best battery life I've ever had on iOS 11 so far. So it was extremely fluid, extremely smooth. Again, I use this on my daily driver device. So I'm using this all the time. So I can tell a big difference when it comes to battery life and fluidity and just overall performance. And I will say that beta four is the best I've seen so far in iOS 11 overall. So hopefully this fifth beta doesn't ruin the battery life. Hopefully it stays the same, if not improve, I doubt it's gonna improve, but hopefully it stays the same as beta four. And hopefully this is the GM build. I mean, hopefully we get iOS 11.1, the public release either later this week or next week. Because of course with the iPhone 10 coming out, we're gonna have to have the final release of iOS 11.1 very, very soon. Now, as far as if we can get another iOS 11.1 beta, if it's possible, of course it's possible. We just really don't know with Apple at this stage. Uh, I mean, it's possible to even get another beta tomorrow, maybe even a couple times this week. I've seen Apple do that before, but we just don't know at this point. Again, also beta five right here could be the GM build. And then we get iOS 11.1, the final release on Monday next week, or even possibly later on this week. But anyways, guys, that's it. This is just a very quick video on iOS 11.1 beta five. Again, just some minor backend bug fixes could have been an emergency fix. We don't even know what the actual bug that was fixed is, but that's pretty much it for iOS 11.1 beta five. You guys know, I just like to keep you informed on everything that Apple does release, regardless of how important the update is, how big the update is. But if you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, let me know what you think down in the comment section below about Apple and these crazy iOS 11.1 releases. But thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll see you soon.